Lord shall return you soon. He can have a swarm, over swarm. He be a cock or no fear no ha. Let's now rededicate our lives to our maker. Now to our Lord, our worthy. When that one day, our life on this earth will come to an end. Our life on this earth will come to an end. All that you want to do, let us do it. And you have not been able to do it. No, just go for it. It will be too late. If I if 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 I feel no good if it set me. Let's talk to him now. No, can I hear you? Say, Lord, help me. Can I only show you what? To do all that I can. Do not feel free. I don't mind. You can sum up. And may all the saints say, Amen. Amen. While standing, shall we turn our Bible to the book of Romans? Romans chapter 12, reading from verse 4 to 8. Romans, shall we hear the word of the Lord? For us, we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we be many, are one body in Christ, and every one member, one of another. Have you then gifts, differing according to the grace that is given to us? Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministry. Or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth, on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Please be seated. Amen. God bless you. You are welcome. So us, we have many members in one body. So many members are in our body. Every one of them has a part to play. And Paul is telling us that as our members Paul, in this body, they have not the same office. So we also be many. Our one body in Christ. And every one member, one of another, every one of us, we differ. Have you then gifts different according to the grace that is given to us? Whether prophecy, let us prophesy. According to the proportion of faith. Yeah, Our ministry, let us wait on our ministry. He that teaching on teaching. He that exhorted on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Every member with different one one So, sister, give me there. Every member of every believer is a member of Christ's body. We are all part 
of Christ's body. Is the body of Christ you are either the ear, the, the nose, the eyes, the mouth, or the lips? So as members of Christ, we need to find our office. Where God, where God has called you. What God wants you to do in this body. Every believer is a member of Christ's body and as such as a definite ministry. My sister, and brother, you have a definite ministry. This is that say yes, the Lord. It does not mean saying it. Everybody has a definite ministry in this house. Number two, to every believer is given a spiritual enablement and capacity for a specific service. No believer is destitute of sad gifts. Nobody is Nobody is less important. You say, oh, this person, no, 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 no. In the body of Christ, everybody is important. You say, oh, this person, what can he do? No, God, no. Men, ah, no. God, God, let me do. I just feel. Men, eh, 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 you cannot say, oh, this brother should have been the one that you prophesied. This one should be the one that should see visions. He said, before we came into this world, God knows every one of us. You know what you can do, what I can do. So he placed that gift in us. So it is not anybody. Oh, I want this person to be this. No. He said there is no room for self choosing. And Christian service is simply the ministry of such gift as the individual may have received. The gifts are diverse. But all are equally honorable. Before God, all the gifts are honorable. There is no gift that is less important in the body. Why? Because the one who bestowed the gifts is the same spirit. It's the spirit of God that and give the spirit the gift to you. Everyone, the spirit of God that gives the gifts. And we all minister under the same Lord. We are energized by the same God. If anybody has done anything well recommended, because God helped that person. You in yourself can do nothing. There is no good thing in any man. You cannot do any good thing. Yeah. Let's go to the talents now. Before Jesus who left the earth, that day Jesus Christ who spawned it all. He told us, as members of His vineyard, the talent that He has given every one of us. So let's go to Genesis. 
and read it now. Genesis 25 from verse 13. He said, What therefore? For ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Matthew, sorry. Matthew chapter 25. I'm sorry, sorry. Matthew 25. Before Jesus will leave. Matthew 25. Before he will leave. Matthew 25 from 13. He said, what therefore, for ye know no neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. I don't know. You don't know. So we should watch. Then 14, let's continue now. When you are watching, then you see the talent now. He said, for the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one, he gave five talents. To another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability, and straightway he took his journey. Why did the Lord didn't give everyone the same? Because he said, according to their several ability. ability. What I can be able to do, what you can be able to do, so God give it to us. He knows my ability. He knows your ability. He said, what I can be able to do, what you can be able to do, so God give it to us. It's not the man who is partial. No, 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 no. no. He knows what is in you. He knows what in me. So he gives you that ability. That talent. According to the ability in you. Let's move on please. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and dig in the earth and hid his lost money. After a long time, the Lord of, the, of those servants came and reckoned with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, that deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. And he also that has received two talents came and said, Lord, that deliverance unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. And he also that has received two talents came and said, Lord, that Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. He said, Lord, 
Mano obote ni mi chevi. Mano ye ni bi piano, no obote mi chevi. Then he which have received the one talent came and said, Lord, and you did that thou hast an hard man, reaping where thou hast no sown, and gathering where thou hast not straw. No, money in a cubeba, the canucho, the ochunwa, ochun, or draw, or pani, or do, or papaco, or do coni. Then I was afraid and went and hid that talent in the earth. Lo, there the house that is done. No, Kaga, Laka, no, I know what Bishop Bay, Ninka, only ya to have a bona fico bank on your book. His Lord has said and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Wicked Thou knowest that I reap where I sow not, and gathered where I have not strawed. Middle. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming should I have received my own with usury. So, sir, okay, she can. I buy to bank. I am calling. Beni ma ba mana ipa fio kuye. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him. Him which have ten talents. No, yeah, yeah, talent I can get. Didn't you come? Money or you ma? For unto every one that have shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he have. Yeah, come money yo. Be ab ale kon de ba fa ke take no. The money be ab ahe no de yo po fio de yo ke get it. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Go, ye cha deke deke chulo ni ebese na mo ne ye fwa do kiti mi edi ya fo ke ya no shipe mo yo. So in the parable that we have just read, no, yeah, ababa you man do what do they be? The life of every one of us is being interpreted over here. What time of year, but wawala, are you wawala here be? Whether I have hidden my talent. Ake inke talent ane ake ami. Nuni chwa ke batu na ka o e ya do o ke chuni abeni e ya abe chua abeni. Remember there is a day of reckoning. Every one of us is going to account, give account of his life. The book of Revelation chapter 40 says, And the dead are that died in the Christ. Blessed are the dead that died in Christ. For their good works follows them. He follows them. So if it is good west, it will follow you. If it is bad west, it will follow you. So you are the one who should be accounted for. So whatever we are doing here, whether people are seeing or people are not seeing, there is an unseen eye watching every one of us. Checking record of everything that we are doing. And before him, we shall all give account of our still worship. The scripture says, These that are done before men, and things that are done in secret. Let's now move into the prophet message. Questions and answers. 109 COD page 519. How does one know their spiritual position in the body of Christ? Let me tell you what I like. Sister, brother, said, a, a brother, if somebody asked that question, how will I know? I can ask me, I mean, but I 
They might put them like a position in the body of Christ. They might put them like a which one I can be put in. I can chew your Christ so but you have been there. What should I do? Many tell my faith in the body of Christ. Your Christ so but you have been. But brother said that is a good one. Very good. Very good. And then let Saturday talk about Abiye. That will be the kind of question among many of us tonight. How do you rightfully know? Now I'm, pres I'm presuming that this brother wants to know what position, what in Christ, that part that I have to play. What now, for instance, I will say like this, brother, to give you the best answer I know, your position in Christ is revealed to you by the Holy Spirit. And then if you want to know whether it is the Holy Spirit or not, Find out whether he blesses what you are doing. Now, can you turn on like how? Mumu koko ni kena kano ya ba koko uchuwe. Koma kaka how? Kwe uchu na kano chumo. Nicho jole no. See whether he's blessing it or not. Nicho jole na kano chumo lu. If he blesses it, kaje jole, a jole. If he doesn't bless it, kaje jole. Like someone said to me not long ago, he said the Lord called me to preach. Tabo ko kabi. I said, well, then preach. He said, I really think if you can just get somebody to act like that and then deceive them, that's Satan. If Satan, Satan can get something like that and deceive them. That's that what he want to do. Then the whole world points their finger Right there, somebody think that they have the gift of speaking in tongues and interpretation. Some also have the gift of divine healing. Some have this, like that, something, and they are mistaken on those things. And sometimes they think they haven't got it when they have it. So it is very tricky. That's why it's a weight on that ministry. Satan is there to enter to it. To trick him. To trick him. He will tell you he will tell you don't have it. But I so always do this breathing. Whenever you feel you are supposed to do a thing, first find out if it is scriptural for you to do it. If it is the scriptures, that's not wrote in one place. But I mean completely scriptural through the Bible for you to do it. Your position. Say, I want to be an evangelist. A pastor, a pastor, prophet, teacher. What, whatever God might have called you to be. You see? Or if you have the gift of tongues, the gift of interpretation. Or any, any of the nine spiritual gifts in the church. Or the four spiritual offices Hello. in the church. Any position. First, see if God called you. See whether it is God first. Then, usually, where I watch it for myself. I watch the nature of the person and see what kind of the gift that they are professing. He said, God will work with his creature the way he made him. He said, if you see him rare it's going on. 
is somebody that is pretty is somebody that lack stability ni olaka mene ife lo ka fe ife lo ka fe ele no le fi apote but somebody that is not steady ni le no le fi apote eje do mo se eje do mo si di alo eje do mo si ba alo te di no ko ba lo ara ni ife is that the lord called me e ka lu church ele e sa te sa to be a pastor a ko ba fe osofo he say now a pastor can be fit a fit person ni osofo e eje fe bo ko ni eje do mo se oju gba he say a pastor is solid sir ye osofo e ka ji e ke ene malek e de ke e do mo se no ni be ba yu ele no no e pa he knows what is ele no le fi o ele no le yu o pote he say oh god called me Hello, to be a teacher. Watch him. How he interpret the word. See, if he get all mess up and everything, then you can tell. See, but then the thing to do, your position is usually known to you whether you can do it or not. Now, when God called me to be an evangelist, he's talking to himself now. The prophet oh, say, when God called me to be an evangelist, he said, I wanted to be a pastor. And I thought, staying at home where here would just be fine. And the Lord called me. And finally, all the people got together. He said, there's not one left tonight that they cried and went out there in 1717 Spring Street. Right. And a lady, Mrs. Hawkins, over there met me and said, he was crying during the time of depression. When one of the neighbors would have cooked a mess of beans and would all come in and eat from that. And she said, I will Allow us my children at the temple if you only build a tabernacle. No. See? Hey, come and come and was an evangelist. See, the morning lay him right there in this the corner store. If you could best in that right tonight and see the the fly leaf of, of my Bible, where he told me to be an evangelist. The angel of the Lord told him to be an evangelist. Oh, so he wrote it at the Richard, fly leaf of his Bible. Richard, he said, I'm going to go to the temple. He said, I'm going to You see, and I wasn't a successful pastor, never will be, because I haven't got that patient and what it takes to be a pastor. See? Yeah. So therefore, if I try to pastor, I would just be as far out of a pastor trying to be an evangelist. He said, see what I mean? Oh, nah. You can see the way the Lord calls you. you what your position is in the body. So, every one of us, God has called us. For a particular purpose. Question number two. God be misunderstood. Questions and answers 149, COD page 623. All right. He said, dear brother Abraham, times and after times, the Lord showed me things in dreams. He has shown me things about my son in the Navy, which my son told me were secrets. He said, he has shown me of people's death. And the secret of people's hearts. Is this a gift from God when he showed me in dreams? The hearts and minds of people. Everything has always turned out like the dream shows me. 
God has that gift. To whom he will, he reveal things. Reveal secrets. Reveal conversations that people are talking about. Reveal things. If people are coming to talk to you, things that they are coming to ask you. It's a gift that is supposed to be in the, in the body of Christ. So when we consecrate ourselves and wait on God, then God will use us. He said, where there are no visions, the people perish. We need to wait on him. He said, this gift God is to restore them to us in these last days. And if only we come to a place to recognize who we are and wait on our ministries and reverence God. God will bless us. And God will bless this church. But until we come to a place to separate ourselves and to consecrate ourselves, we cannot see the glory of God. Before the Lord will take our sister to ask many of us, it is secret, we don't know, but it is known to God. But our God knows everything. Our words here, as you sojourn on this earth, is the story that has already been told. So, what we need to do, no, they are already as sons and daughters of God, we to commit ourselves into our God. Lord, what will you have me to do? Then you do it. Okay, okay. I got to remember where that I spoke with my our sister, departed sister. Deep, deep 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 deep. When he was about to cross over, he was asking me things. What will I steal when I'm trying to cross over? Because I prayed with her when those demons come to torment her. I prayed with her through the night. And sometimes I sing for her up to three o'clock. Trying to create an atmosphere. Trying to create an atmosphere. To see actually what is going on. So before he departed, I saw things not cobra visions. But I didn't tell Brad Vincent. I said, go to the hospital and find out for me. Brad Vincent, I call. Yeah, I saw her through the night. This that went on. And as he was talking to me, I saw the things that passed. She passed through through the night. Whether they are true, and Doctor Brown said it was so. Brother Brown, I call. No need to know it. I did anything. I did to recall all that. God bless you, my sister. Enjoy joy. Let's be faithful. God will help us. From this Jordan to Canaan's land. No matter the powers of darkness. No matter the dwarfs. No matter the witches and the wizards. The Lord will give us victory. Because he has already won the battle for us. He has won the battle. He said, we are more than victors. Our worst is that to rely on him. And we we'll see the glory. We we'll see the victor soon. When we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. One brush love of Jesus. One sis.
what a day of rejoicing that will be. Oh, well. 